All right, Marcellus, does this a shot at LeBron James? Bruh! Whoa. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> sniper. Sniper. Remy on the roof. Remy on... Hell yeah, that was a shot. And it was one of those shots that, that Sudo was throwing a rock and hiding your hands uh, because the responsibility of the shot, he basically threw it out there with a timer on infinity, or at least to the end of your career. <laughs> and when you step on it, he'd be like, I told you, it was out there. Right. But... It wasn't me. And it's one of those dynamics that you have to play that because of relationship, him and LeBron, and mm -hmm. obviously of status, who LeBron is. Sure. So there's no way that you put this out there unless it's a shot, but it's well veiled. It, it's, it's covered with lots of blankets and, and, and trying to distract from what you're really trying to say until it happens. I, I see it as a shot, but he wasn't aiming it at Le 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 LeBron. Ooh. It was a warning shot. To Chris Bo or to uh, to Anthony AD. to Anthony Davis, in that, uh, look, you just signed up to be in the tractor beam. I know LeBron has said we're going to play through AD, and you're getting a lot of touches, but you have to understand, <laughs> you're playing a role. This is the LeBron show, and you're playing a role in it, and you're going to have to find a way to exist in that. And the up and down that comes with that is. Uh, can be pretty severe. You're going to have to change who you are to fit in the LeBron show. Now, I believe that it's going to work because I believe ultimately that is what Anthony Davis is best suited for. Wow. He's not, he's, he has played the role of a number one in other places, but ultimately watching him, and I've been in their locker room and seen the way those two have interacted, AD's good with being the number two in this situation. I, I really don't think. Chris Bosh, it was a struggle. Dwayne Wade had to basically hand the keys to the car to LeBron and say, I'm good with it. You take it over. That's I don't think AD is going to have a problem with it. I, I think he's, well, I don't know if he's saying it as a warning shot to AD as much as he's just saying, this gold ain't loyal. And, <laughs> and so what, what he means by it, that... <laughs> <laughs> what he means by that is LeBron's very moody. LeBron came to Miami and was, hey, six, not five, not six, right. not seven. Yep. And, and Chris is like, damn, we got to two and this dude bounced. <laughs> didn't tell D. Wade he was going. Did, didn't somebody end up taking less money mm. uh, uh, thinking LeBron was coming back and blah, blah, blah. And so to me, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, LeBron's a powerful force. He'll get you all caught up and emotional. Man, we win in seven titles. We boys, dogs for life. And then the dog went running off to Cleveland again. Well, and that's a different dynamic. That's off the road. All accurate, but context matters. Uh, their situation was really trying to merge three number ones in their situations on one team. And that is the consequence of trying to do that. Chris Bosh, the one and the number one of LeBron and D-Wade had to figure it out before they got mm. to you. So you're sitting there starving in that moment. This dynamic is different where AD has come to realize that, you know what, LeBron has to be closer to the end than the beginning. Right. Maybe on his way out, I will keep in my back pocket Chicago and all that conversation. But I'm okay in this dynamic duo. I'm okay letting this guy lead the charge even though it's working and functioning through me. As the only one up here qualified, and I'm making an assumption because of me owning a Ferrari before, let me tell you one thing about this. He ain't, he ain't lying. Uh, <laughs> I crashed my Ferrari. Day one, I got it. That rear wheel drive and that booty, just yeah. blah, boom, yeah. right into a disc. Stories on Instagram. Point of this is, LeBron is not going to drive you out of control because you didn't know what you were expecting like I right. did with my Ferrari. You know what you're getting into when you see LeBron coming. I'm and that's so the situation. Sure. Yeah, see, oh, I'm yes. not so sure about oh, that. I think yes. it's a lot like the Ferrari. You know you bought a powerful engine. You know you are playing with a great player, mm -hmm. but exactly what that means mm. once you get behind the driver's seat, or in this case, you get in the passenger seat, is a different element. And keep in mind, AD has said, I don't, he doesn't really want to play five. He wants to play a He's certain role. He's playing five. <laughs> right. And yeah. that's part of the equation, which yeah. is you may have your idea about how and where you want to play, but there's somebody else who's ultimately going to make that decision. Yeah, and again, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to go back to the, the origination, when those guys all came together, we taking less money, and it's all about us. And, and look, I get there with conversation. We're going to go down in history. We're going to win so many titles. 
and, and there's going to be so much value on the backside of what we do here in Miami. And it was nice. They won two titles. But they did not make history. This is not some, they won't be writing about the Heat dynasty. That's still Tim Duncan and the sure. Spurs. Mm. That, 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 that. And so I just think he's telling AD and anybody that'll listen, man, like, LeBron's going to do LeBron. Sure. Don't get caught up in the emotion. I think that's fair, but it, in terms of leaving or going in another direction, I mean, look, LeBron's planted a flag. He went to L he wanted to be in L.A. Mm. He went to he went to L.A. as opposed to going to the Lakers. He planted a tombstone, but we'll get wait, to that. Wait, wait, wait. We'll let me torture that. this analogy one more time, because I don't think y'all understanding, as once again, I'm going to say it. You're going to go back to the Ferrari? I'm, yeah. I'm only qualified one up here, damn it. Had one. Had two, actually. Um, let me tell you this. It's not the Ferrari. It's you who gets distracted because you get tempted to do too much. So what happens is if you get into this situation and you get distracted or you think you could do too much, it will humble you. In my situation, it was a pretty woman, and you know what? I had to get where I had to go, and I wasn't listening at the speed limit. With LeBron, if you play the role, if you understand what this is, because I think LeBron is great in the communication with his teammates, not so much outside those borders. If you stay in that lane, we'll be fine. You try to manage those expectations, we're great. Don't speed. You do too much, you will Bosch and Wade got out of their lane. They tried to do too much. They acquiesced, yes, and the dude oh, left. You ready for this? Dwayne Wade got out of his lane. You know why? Dwayne Wade was descending when he was with right. LeBron. True or false? Yeah, no, no, no. All right, so he, reckon, not... he recognized the only way I can win mm. is if mm. I allow this guy to drive. Mm. You, that... Both of y'all been married. Yeah. And they felt like this till death do us part. Man, I ain't dying on that court. Good health and bad health. <laughs> I ain't dying on that court. <laughs> Hell no, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak For Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.